Chris Paul. The New Orleans Hornets are about to take the court. It's NBA action on 2K Sports. Hi, everyone. This is Kevin Hart alongside Clark Kellogg. Doris Burke will join us from the sideline. And the fans are making noise here at the Target Center for their Timberwolves. Now the opening lineup for the New Orleans Hornets. Westwood out the floor. The big bodies down low. Then there's James Posey. And it's Chris Paul and Stiakovich. Here is one. Inside to Jefferson. Takes it up. Leading swiftly off the glass. Johnny Williams in his first season as the head coach of the New Orleans Hornets, the youngest head coach in the NBA. Kevin, really a relative newcomer to the coaching ranks. I've always been impressed by him. He coached as an assistant in Portland under Nate McMillan since 2005. And he's been viewed around the league as somebody with a bright future as a head coach. Let's send it out to Doris Burke, who caught up with head coach Kurt Lambert. The phrase floor leader was the first thing out of his mouth when I asked him about Chris Paul. He told me Paul's the guy they're going to give the most attention to defensively because he runs the whole show for them. He said he's quick, strong, and a tremendous decision maker on the court. Magic when the ball is in his hands, guys. And thank you, Doris. You know, you ask people about Monty Williams, they say he's a straight talker. That really went over the respect of the players that come to the court. You know, I think players really want to know where they stand. They want you to be direct and frank and candid with them. And when you are on a consistent basis, basis you earn their respect right away. They say he's got some presence. Yeah, he does. Very much so. Al Paul. Johnny Flynn missing on the three. Here's Okafor, goes up, good, and Paul gets the assist. Kick it to the right guy at the right time, that's a good pass. Here is Flynn. It's hard to be in the West if you're a struggling team like the Timberwolves. It is really hard. And yeah, the Timberwolves epitomize that. I mean, only eight wins in the conference, and that is certainly uh, less than desirable as far as a win total goes. Good. Good. Here's Paul. But Corey Brewer was drafted out of the University of Florida because Clark of his outstanding defense, but his offense, and you would agree, I'm sure, has been a work in front. Yeah, I was a little surprised. I mean, I lost his versatility. I knew he could be a lockdown defender at this level, but I thought he would be better offensively sooner. But some of it has been the fact that he's not been able to maintain his balance in his shooting stroke. And as a result, the coaching staff has looked at that as an area that he needs to get better in. And as he's improved, so has his offense. Now here's Paul. Picked up by Flynn. So here is West. Hit by a shot. Shocking how wide open he was. Even more shocking if he couldn't see. Here's Jefferson. No good. And New Orleans will take it the other way. Here's Paul. Picked up by Flynn. Stiakovich with the three. It bounces out of bounds after the shot. Here's Flynn. Defended by Paul. Paul against Flynn. Brewer jacks up the triple. And it's James Posey with the rebound. Now here's Paul. Picked up by Flynn. Here's West. Takes it up. Can't get it to go. Now the Timberwolves will take it the other way. Flynn kicks to Brewer. Back to Flynn. And here is Brewer. Behind the arc. And once again off the mark by Minnesota. He's had some problems finding the range here in this court. Flynn against Paul. Covered by Brewer. West kicks to Paul. Four on the shot clock. Two on the ground. Oh, grabs the board. Hey, he can hit from that range. I think he, he missed that one, but the defense is going to want to tighten up on him out there. 
Outside Flynn. Now Brewer. And once again off the mark by Minnesota. Right now, he's in a bit of a funk. I look for them to look at other options on offense. Ball outside. And West packs in. Gomes covering. The hook. Shot's good from West. And it's now all evened up at four. The hook shot is something of a lost art in the NBA. Nice to see it on display there. Outside Flynn. Brewer defended by Paul. And once again off the mark by Minnesota. They've trailed the entire game now. A chance to jump on ahead. Tipped. Then gets the boot. Good execution on the break leads to the nice buck. That was a great replay on the Sprite Slam Cam. Here's Paul. Still looking to get on the scoreboard. About six and a half minutes left in the first. Picked up by Flynn. A three. Paul can't get it to go. Something about his game looks off here. He's just been out of kilter, not in rhythm. I know they'll need him to turn it around if they want to be successful. Tucked away. He hasn't had the type of game that we thought we'd see. But despite that, the team is still doing quite well. Just a screen on Jefferson. Picked up by Flynn. Pass to Okafor. Ball outside. Just a screen on Flynn. Ball against Flynn. The screen. Ball can't get that one to fall. They need to send out a search party to find his offense, Kevin. It's been a wall this whole quarter. Uncovered. Brewer's shot is off. The Hornets trail. Ball outside. Stajakovic, covered by Flynn. Okafer backs in. Pass to Paul. Jefferson picks him up. And two free throws coming up as the whistle blows. He's purely missed that one. It's on L. Jefferson. This Hornets team really relies upon Chris Paul to be successful. Well, he'll put up MVP caliber numbers when he's healthy, but after making the conference semifinals in 2008, a team seemingly on the rise has now gone in the opposite direction. And making a change here, the Timberwolves. Sessions is checked in. And so Paul nails both of them. And of course, Chris Paul missed time last season with the knee injury. You know what, Kevin? That was actually a, a blessing in disguise. A glimmer of open birds during the time when Chris Paul was out as some youngsters got a chance. Darren Collison and Marcus Spartan got a chance to show what they could do. Timberwolves on offense. Brewer with the ball. It's dumped off. And here's Love. No points for him. The Hornets commits an intentional foul. It's really not certain why. Coach Kurt Rambis won four championships as a player with the Lakers. And he was known for his all-out hustle. Yeah, you know, Rambis was a scrappy player. He wore those thick, black Clark Kent-like glasses. Though Clark Kent never sported the Rambis thick mustache. No, he didn't. <laughs> Remember, he had Rambis view from the stands at Chicago in his own cheering section. Yeah, that's right. The first one falls. The Hornets have had some lackluster drafts in the past, but they certainly seem to have hit the jackpot with Darren Collison and Marcus Thornton last season. Boy, silver linings amidst the clouds for the Hornets last year. Those two young players, absolutely, Kevin. Um, both can play at a high level in the backcourt, and I think good things in store for both of them. They were terrific all year. And the Hornets making a change here. Now here's Paul. Paul right side. Missed. 
Minnesota in the lead. And when you talk about Thornton and Pallison, both were a revelation, especially for where they were taken in the draft. Well, that's what you want to do, Kevin. You want to get good value for your draft choices wherever you happen to have those picks. Both were four-year college players, so you knew they would come in and be able to play. And when given the opportunity, they showed they were mature, competitive, and productive. Now here's Paul. Okafor. Rebound low. Just over four minutes left in the first quarter. And the winner of the jam to finish. Boy, when you run the fast break correctly, it's a thing of beauty. Here's Paul. He's covered by Sessions. The baseline, Jay. And Paul gets it to go in. That's simply what a superstar does. He can make the most difficult plays look silky smooth. Here is Gomes. Over Posey. Gomes misses. He's not giving an inch on defense. He really bothered that shot. And Doris Burke has a report for us from the sideline. Well, Kevin, who's the fastest player in the NBA? A lot of names get thrown around. Aaron Brooks, Monte Ellis, Derrick Rose. Up? But if you ask Darren Collison, he's not too shy about who he thinks is the fastest. He said, I definitely think I'm the fastest. It's in his DNA, guys. Both of his parents ran track. He can definitely fly. You said it, Doris. Thanks. Here's Sessions. Following the basket by Chris Paul. Fades back. It's blocked. And it's the Hornets with the ball. Here's Posey. And great assist by Paul as that one goes in. Here's Sessions. 2.56 left in the first. Pass to Jefferson. He's against Overfall. Jefferson kicks the boot. Places one from three. Seven points in the game. Kevin, yeah, that's just not good defense. You can't be giving players of this talent level looks like that. Come on now. Now Paul. Six points for him. Posey, let's go with the three. Rebound low. You know, he can make a few from out there, but the defense seemed unconcerned by him pulling up. They were giving him all sorts of room. Here is Gomes. Posey covering. Sessions. Here's Gomes. He stayed with it and tipped it in. Jefferson's got his second bucket of the game today. That's hustle points right there. He got into great position and made the most of the second chance. Oh, he's showing us those soft hands. Well, he earned that opportunity. Now here's Paul. Stiakovic with the three. Good, and Paul gets the assist. And we're now all tied up at 15. And the Timberwolves call time. some changes here. Here's Sessions. 147 left in the first quarter. Gomes with it. Poked away. Who read that pass like a book? All over. Paul outside. And they double up Paul. Here's Singaila. And a great assist by Ball as that one goes in. That's exactly how you break down the double team. Get the ball to a teammate for the open buck. Here's Sessions. And here is Brewer. Hits the 15-footer. He's got nine. Here's Paul.
right, snatches it inside. Get the ball. Sengaila sets a pick. The pick. Again, the miss by Paul. An outstanding pick there, and he still couldn't get the basket. Next time he gets a look that good, he's got to make it count. What a shot! Jumps the hit and was still able to maintain control to get it down. And he makes the free throw. Second quarter gets going. Here's Paul. He has six. So the Hornets five right now. We've got Okafor. Chris Paul is out there with Wright and Zingale. Fouled, and he was close to getting the three-point opportunity. We'll go to the line for two. They say Michael Okafor is a fanatical uh, guy about his stretching and does it morning, four games, all the time. He always wants to be loose. Boy, the more time you spend in the NBA, Kevin, the more emphasis you put on taking care of your body, and stretching is a big part of that. With a switch, the Hornets. West is checked in. So he hits one of two from the strike. Minnesota in the lead. Sessions with it. Swiped it away. Paul against Wilkins. Takes the shot. Jefferson with the rebound. And when you have spent time on the injured reserve list like Okafor has, much of carrying your body with the stretching you mentioned. What's nice for him is that it's been three straight years for him where he's played a full season, and uh, maybe his stretching has gotten him past those early uh, career injuries. And it's the Hornets with the ball. After the basket by Minnesota. Deflects the pass. Ball outside. Just three to shoot. New Orleans needs to get off the shot. They couldn't beat the buzzer. It's a turnover. With a switch, the Hornets. Timberwolves leading by four. Here's Flynn. Not on the scoreboard yet. Inside to Jefferson. Court pulls it in off the glass. Here are the Hornets with the ball. Four-point game. He's got six. Marks defended by Jefferson. Shot misses. Well, the defense put pressure on him, and frankly, he missed some of those even when he's wide open. Paul gets called for Black. That's foul number two for him. A little too much body contact there. You have to stay in front of the ball handler by moving your feet or you'll get tagged with that call every time. Darren Collison, he's checked in for Chris Paul. Hey, yo, get down. Get the perimeter. Here's Flynn. Outside Wilkins. Over Marks. Blocked. The Hornets trail by four. And here's Collison. Gets rid of it. Right taps in. And that one barely misses as he draws the attack. Two free throws coming up. And the 10 minutes is over for the Timberwolves by Susan Clark. Yeah, and they're a team that is rebuilding, but you always want to be closer to 500 at home than what they were. Here's Flynn looking for his first bucket of the game. Love 
Love with the screen on Collison. Sessions. Sessions is called for the charge. That's foul number two for him. Touchdown the rebuilding process for the Wolves. How long do you think it's going to take for him to turn it around? Well, if I had to give it a guess, Kevin, it's probably another couple of seasons. It shouldn't be too long. They've got some talent. I mean, Johnny Flynn is a terrific young point guard. And Kevin Love's an outstanding power forward. So a couple of years probably is what I'm anticipating before it gets turned around. And Clark, an injury on the floor, even though they're a part of the game, it's always tough to see someone in pain like that. Kevin, this is certainly one aspect of the game that you never want to see. Hopefully the injury's not too severe, and he'll be able to return to action soon. With the switch, the Hornets. Here's White. And again, New Orleans has no luck. Well, it's clear they've got the advantage on the boards in this one, Kevin. Marks with the screen. Right inside. Storm. And someone's being that careless and sloppy with the ball. They're begging for it to be taken. Oh, Collison throws it, draws the foul. He'll shoot two. It's on Darren Collison. Tough interior defense means not allowing easy bats. Good bats. Johnny Flynn out of shirt. He is a spark plug of a point guard. Yeah, he plays with so much heart and enthusiasm, and he's a dynamic athlete as well. As a matter of fact, Al Jefferson said he's a giant inside of a small body. And making a change here are the Timberwolves. Here's Collison. Still looking to get on the scoreboard. And West backs in. And again, New Orleans has no luck. Flynn mostly played a pick and roll two man game in Syracuse. Yeah, in Minnesota, he's been asked Kevin to run a more flowing triangle offense. It's been an adjustment for him, but he's got the kind of character to where he's going to try to work through it. He's a tough kid. Yeah, and he's got a winning attitude as well. Let's go to our great sideline reporter, Doris Burke, for an update. Doris? Well, Kevin, the Omeka Okafor Tyson Chandler trade seemed to work out well for the Hornets last year. Chandler struggled with injury in Charlotte, while Okafor established a good rapport with Chris Paul. They spent extra time talking together and discussing how best to execute their pick and rolls, and their chemistry should only improve with time. Guys, back to you. Doris, thank you for that. I think the Hornets are finally getting there, but not there yet. Still some missing pieces to that puzzle. For Darren Collison with a fantastic order and water by quickness, but he really can't defend too. Yeah, he does an awful lot in the point guard spot and really proved his value when Chris Paul went down with the knee and And the Hornets making a change here. That's also good, so he hits both free throws. Here is Flynn. Just over eight minutes left in the second. Backing down is Jefferson. Here's Pavlovich. And sends it from three. And the Timberwolves lead by six. Allison made a call, so won the Western Conference Rookie of the Month Award for February. Yeah, and he's been coached by some of the best coaches when you talk about developing a point guard. He's got great athleticism. I think he's going to be a special player, Kevin. And here are the Hornets following the three by Minnesota. Just fine on the clock. Paul passes to Collison. Here's to Yakovic. And again, no good by New Orleans. They've really done a great job securing the rebounds, Kevin. They got the advantage right now for the spot. Here is Brewer. Six point game. Pass to Jefferson. He's against Okafor. And there's the whistle. Foul hard on the shot. He'll go to the line. It's going to be on David West. Last season was Al Jefferson's first after coming back hard from ACL reconstruction. They say that's one you often need about two years to get back to 100%. Yeah, I agree with you there, Kevin. The first year back is really just a chance to start playing basketball again. That last 15% recovery is takes place in the second year. And he's on his way because he also lost 31 pounds to try to take some strain and pressure off his leg. Here's Paul. Shot misses. And Minnesota the other way now. 
You've got to expect more out of him here. He's had a lot of difficulty this quarter, which in turn is making it difficult for them to cut into this deficit at all. Outside play. Nets it from the wing. He's been extremely active out there, and he has the stats to prove it. Terrific hustle. Now Collison. Paul with the ball. Will it go? Double clutches. Happy. It's the rebound inside. I'm sure he'd like to have a do over here. He just hasn't been able to make a significant contribution in this one. Back to Flynn. Pavlovich. He's covered by Collison. Pavlovich. Gets a lot. Pass to Jefferson. Over Okafor. Jefferson's shot is off. Here comes Chris Paul. He's got six. And then Okafor slams it in. Great vision on display there. The pass led him perfectly to the basket. That's how you do it. Here is Flynn. They've gone to the 1-3-1 zone. Let's see if they can pressure the ball in the corner. Here's Jefferson. Goes up. Drains it from short range. Jefferson. Jefferson's got eight points. Well, that's a good job of getting the ball down low like that. I mean, those are hard to stop from that way. It's taken away by Brewer. Picks it up. The rebound by Okafor. Under six minutes left in the half. Dumps it off. Ball right side. Got a piece of it. And you look at what they've done, or rather what they haven't done, it's hold on to the ball. They've had four turnovers already this court. On offense, here are the Hornets. Trailing by 10. Our friend. A tough quarter right now. They can't seem to get into any kind of rhythm or flow. They just keep giving the ball away. Just much too sloppy plays so over. Collison, no good. Minnesota with the ball. They're on a 13 to 5 run. Here's Jefferson. Sensational block. And here are the Hornets now. It's a 10 point game. So here is West. Gomes covering. So here is West. Gomes covering. Shots good from West. This is what happens when the defense lag. Wrong guy to give an opening to. Timberwolves leading by eight. Hornets were a 500 team against the West a season ago. Yeah, and that was a pretty good indication of their slide out of the Western Conference playoff. The year before, when they were the seventh seed, they won 30 games in the conference. And making a change here are the Timberwolves. Here's Flynn. Shoots it up. Another miss by Minnesota. The D didn't respect him from that distance, and now we know why. Here's Paul. Scooped up. Covered by Flynn. A second chance effort. And caught that bucket right there. He keeps with it, and now a free throw shot for him. Looking at the game for Paul, he has eight points and four assists. His success in the assist department is carried over to the free throw line. You know, looking at Chris Paul, he had surgery to repair a torn meniscus and was forced to miss 37 games. Joel Gomes with it. Beyond the arm. And that one's good. Seven points in the game. And there he goes. He can get a three in the first. He's starting to look for it here. And Clark for Chris Paul. He's been carrying this team for years. Do you think that extra burden had any role in the injury? No, I think it was just a free thing that happened, Kevin. This guy knows he's the leader of the team. He's the face of the franchise. And he's very capable of handling that role. And he's done so in fine fashion thus far. Pocket four. Collison dishes to Paul. Shoots over Flynn. Again, the miss by Paul. That's not something you'll see very often. Got the mid-range jumper he wanted, but off target. Steps back and shoots. And there are the Timberwolves with another bucket. 
Here's Paul. Nine points in the game so far. Outside Collison. Deflected. But he has simply got to focus and make sure he keeps himself between the ball and the defense in that situation. Rebounded by Collison. And it's the Hornets with the ball. Trailing by 10. Pass to Paul. Picked up by Flynn. Now here's Paul. Deep two from Stiakovic. Good, and Paul gets the assist. He's got five. Timberwolves leading by eight. It's a pick by Love. The law was a little misjudged, and he couldn't get control of The break is on. Here's Paul. Love grabs the board. It seems like they're winning all of the hustle plays, getting all of the 50-50 balls, and they have a big advantage on the glass. Another miss by Minnesota. The Hornets trail by eight. Two minutes, two minutes. And here's Collison. Paul kicks it to West. Outside Collison. That one goes and stayed with it, even with the contact, and a free throw coming up. And making a change here, the Timberwolves. Nice job at the line, and that one falls to pick up the end one. Hornets had a down season last year, but West kept plugging away, doing what David West always does best. And what he always does is come close to 20 points and 10 rebounds a night. His rebound totals took a dip last year, as did his scoring, but he was much better percentage-wise. Well, Hornets trail by five. Picked by Okafor. Passes back. To Okafor. Guarded now by Kevin Love. And Okafor at the basket on the assist by Collison. Okafor's got his third basket of the night right there. Sessions with it. Here's Love, and he can't manage to get up a decent shot on the foul. Two free throws coming up. Contact certainly altered that shot. The official was right on top of it. And he makes the first. And it really makes the defense pay here. He made all of their free throws this fourth. And so he makes both from the line. Here's Paul. He's got nine. Here is Callison. Paul off the screen and Okafor slams it in. With his length, Kevin, he doesn't necessarily have to go way up top to throw it down. Here's Sessions, defended by Paul. With three Ellington. Kept alive. Here's Hollins. And almost gets it to go, so he'll shoot two. Here's Hollins. And the first one at the line is good. Aaron Gray is checked in for New Orleans. And first time out of the game called for New Orleans. Both shots good from the strike. Here's Collison. 29 seconds left in the second. Get the perimeter. Get the perimeter. Who got ball? Who got ball? Ball outside. Right there. He's covered by Sessions. Puts up the three. Collison, no good. 
now Sessions. One second left. Hammers it in. Great pass into the lane. They'll take that one every time. That'll do it for the first half. The Timberwolves on top, leading by seven. Hello and welcome everyone as we prepare your late night HP halftime report. The Timberwolves have the lead out in Minnesota against New Orleans. Their advantage in free throw percentage has given them a significant edge. Corey Brewer making an impact. He's up to nine points. He's also added a couple steals. And this dedicated Hornets team is weathering the storm. It's been a struggle so far. They broke slow out of the gates and haven't been able to get up to speed. The first half, a letdown for Darren Collison. Everything's been rimming out for him. He's got to be frustrated. And now the third quarter about to begin. Here's Paul. He's got nine. Love and Jefferson are up front. Flynn and Brewer on the back. And go. That's the five to begin the second half for Kurt Randles. Tim Wolves leading by seven. Back to Jefferson. Myers from 14. That's good. Jefferson's got ten. Great sets a pick. Stojakovic with the three. Brewer corrals the miss inside. Not loose. Timberwolves on offense. Here's Gomes. This ball grabs the miss. The Hornets trail by nine. Collison dishes to Paul. Jump off pass. Pass to Okafor. Jefferson is right there. Okafor kicks to Paul. Shot clock at three. Two on the clock. And again, no good by New Orleans. Right now, boy, they're playing strong on the glass. Plus eight in rebound. Here's Combs. And he's able to score the bucket. Oh, called by the official. So one free throw for him right here. The end one is good, so a three-point play that time. Here's Paul. He's got nine. Here's Posey. And here is West. And he's on the shot, even with the foul. Now the two free throws. Good on the second free throw. He got the game for David West. He's got eight points and he's come away with a lot of steals in this one. They switched to a 2 3 zone. The goal is to protect the middle. Outside Flynn. <laughs> Defended by Paul. Here's Gomes. Nice job to clean up the mess. Jefferson's got 12 in the game. He's really one of the big reasons why they have the lead now. He's playing an extremely efficient game. It's fun to watch. Back to Okafor. Jefferson is right there. Okafor, the pass to Posey. And no good. But close in that one, he'll shoot two. And the second free throw, good. Here is Flynn. Six points for him. Defended by Paul. With a wide open look, Flynn misses. No defense there to bother the shot, and he still missed fire. His coach does not look out. Back to Okafor. Rest outside. Great anticipation. Here's Gomes. Got a piece of it. Tries to keep it alive.
Here is Gomes. He's got 10. Well, he got one to go in the first, but he hasn't been able to connect from three-point land here in this half. No good on the quick three. A shot by Paul, no good. He's been struggling with his offense all game long. Some days you just can't get it going. Today looks like that kind of day. And here is Brewer. He's got nine. Backing down is Jefferson. Five on the clock. The Timberwolves need to get a shot off here. The Timberwolves again can't hit. Again and again, here he is launching away from deep with not anything to show for it. He's got to stop settling for the outside shot and get it to the rim. Love against Paul. Okafor defended by Jefferson. Okafor gets the bucket. Well, this has been a tough, tough start to the second half. Hopefully they'll find a way to pick it up here. Alflin, he has six. Here's Jefferson. Six, the open shot. Jefferson. Jefferson's got 14 points. Now Jefferson is one of the most impressive points was of most moves in the NBA today. Yeah, you're right, Kevin. Good speed. I love his footwork. He's got excellent hands, and he's strong. You know, he's not a big-time leaper, but he does know how to confuse defenders. Up fakes, up and under moves. He's got all of that. He gets them off balance. Yeah. He got caught napping. You've got to pay attention and protect the ball. Here's Jones. Doesn't get enough under it. And it's the Hornets with the ball. A 12-point game. Ball against Flynn. Ball with the charge. That's his third foul of the game. Sometimes if you've been on the wrong end in your mind of a foul, it's hard to shake that mentally for a player. Then take a couple trips back up and down the floor. Well, the good ones are able to go into next play mode. The very good players realize there are a lot of players in the course of an NBA game. You have to let the bad one go and get ready for the next. The same with the good play. You gotta let it go and get ready for the next play. Here is Bruce. Eight points in the game so far. Flynn with it. Love, defended by West. And a foul call. Almost got him to go in, but he'll go to the line for two. It's going to be on David West. You know, he missed the start of the season with a broken hand, but after returning Kevin Love, put forth what many people think Clark was an all-star caliber production. Well, he was so consistent as a rebounder. Actually, the best rebounding power forward in the game when you look at the numbers, and he's an excellent scorer as well and a passer. I think he's going to be a guy who averages a double-double pretty much throughout his career. Aaron Gray, he's checked in for he's David West. Love his tenacity and aggressiveness on offense. He's lightning quick and loves to take it to the rim. Outside Flynn. Nash to Jefferson. Gray's there. Baseline jumper. Jefferson's shot is off. On offense, here are the Hornets. Trailing by 10. Ball outside. It's tipped. Timberwolves turn it over. And so here's Minnesota. Their defense is running out six points in the second half. A nice shot by Flynn. Beautiful delivery with the bounce pass. He kept it away from the defense, which set up the shot perfectly. Stiakovich with the three. And a great assist by Paul as that one goes in. Asia. Eight points for him. Flynn against Paul. Top. He's got nine. Over Posey. Brewer's shot is off. The Hornets trail by nine. Back to Paul. And that one barely misses as he draws a contact. Two free throws coming up. And that one's balls for two. And so Paul nails both of them. Here's Flynn. He's got eight. Right around six minutes left in the third. Got a piece of it. Here's Love. And a foul on the shot. No go to the strike for two. It's on Omeka Okafor. 
and he knocks down the ball. And the Hornets making a change here. Collison's out there. He's perfect from the line this time. Here's Collison. Posey launches it, and that's collected by Love. You know what, even if they are only so-so from deep, you can't leave players open like that from the arc. Man, are they playing aggressively on defense. Poke loose. The poke is up. Go. And the bucket is good, made up and in from the assist. He's got 12. Here's Okafor. He's got 11. Here's Gray. That one laid up and hit off the glass. That's a good look. Very nice look. Timberwolves leading by nine. And here is Flynn. And Love backs in. Flynn. The Gray. Stiakin gets the board inside. Right around five minutes left in the third quarter. Here's Gray and dumped in free play on the field. Uh-oh. A little bit of a statement made there while he hung on the rim. That's one way to make sure the whole building knows exactly what you just did. Here is Gomes. He's covered by Collison. Jefferson, a screen on Collison. Here's Flynn. It's hauled in by Gray. When you settle for that kind of shot, that's a wasted possession. That is not a high percentage look. Goes up. It takes a bad bounce and goes out of bounds. But Tibble is making a switch here. Wilkins is checked in. Here is Flynn. He's got eight. <laughs> Switch to man to man, D here. The Timberwolves again can't hit. He really needs to hit that consistently, or they'll just keep letting him shoot it. The baseline J. That doesn't go either for Collison. The drill is on, and so is his offense. He's not making anything. Outside Wilkins. Pass to Jefferson. Fires from the elbow. And he hits the jump shot. Jefferson's got 16. The Hornets throw by nine. Now Collison. Back to Okafor. Outside Collison. Down to five on the shot clock. Picked by Okafor. Off the pick. Come off the screen. He's shooting 50% from deep. That's one of those little things that makes a big difference, you know? A very nice screen set there. Very unselfish play right there, Clark. Some guys love to set those hard screens. And that, they make that part of the repertoire. Throws it up. Brewer's shot is off. That shot didn't have a chance. He doesn't have the softest touch, and the defense was in his jersey. Got to look for a better shot. Here's Posey, and laying it in as that one falls through. He has five. What an amazing trick shot to confound the defender. Oh, man, that's awesome. He's taking him to school right there. Outside flare. Love kicks to Jefferson. The Hornets trail by five. Here's Posey, and closing the shot, even with the foul. Now the two free throws. The first free throw is good. Marcus Horton, he's checked in for New Orleans. Good on both. Here's Flynn, he's got eight. Here's Brewer. Can't hit. And New Orleans will take it the other way. Boy, they've really been scrapping for rebounds in this one. Neither club really dominating the other. 
with Love against Collison. Guarded now by Kevin Love. Collison dishes to Okafor. Oh, that was close. He draws the foul. He'll shoot two. That one I love. Well, Mecca like Okafor has been getting it done. He's got 11 points and three blocks. This is something special. I mean, he hasn't missed a single shot. Julian Wright, he's checked in for James Posey. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. Here's Flynn. 209 left in the third. Here is Brewer. He's guarded by Thornton. Here's Jefferson. Thanks in home. Jefferson's got 18 points in the game. Right now, their offense is playing through him, actually going through him just about every time. And he's answered the call with tremendous play. Allison with it. The dump off. Here's Thornton. And off target as he starts the game off for one. Marcus Thornton is out of LSU and Preston Clark in his rookie season, especially for a second round pick. Well, I was surprised he wasn't gone sometime in the first round, Kevin. I watched him in college. He can get his own shot. He's aggressive. He can shoot the three. He can drive it. He can pull up for the mid-range game. I mean, he's a terrific offensive player. And we saw all of that on display last year, especially when Chris Paul was out with the injury. The shooting so far has been a bit spot. So hopefully that's a sign that he's back on track. Okafor kicks to Collison. The steal. Timberwolves leading by six. Here's Flynn. Eight points for him. Back to Jefferson. Stripped away. You can't start thinking ahead and lose track of your hand. Here's White. Oh! Rips in a ferocious jam. He's getting the highlight reel play of the day for that one. Now that was a dunk. <laughs> he certainly put a little something extra into that slam. A little added pizzazz. <laughs> Here's Wilkins. It's held in by Gray. In the best of circumstances, that's going to be a tough shot for him. And that was not the best of circumstances. Seven second difference, shot and game clock. Collison gets to Okafer. Back to Collison. Guarded now by Kevin Love. Takes it up. Kept the line. A foul called, and he earns a trip to the line. He hits the second from the line. Here's Sessions. Well, it's been an exciting game as we finish the third. Look at Al Jefferson. He's really been playing well. So as we get rolling here in the fourth, let's go to our sideline reporter, Doris Burke, for the Spike Spark of the Game. Doris. Yeah, the Timberwolves the spark of the game with that push we saw. They just keep scoring bucket after bucket, and as a result, Doris, thank you. Big score to run there was the spark they needed. Everything started to synergize, and once the ball was rolling, there was no stopping. Here's Sessions. So for New Orleans right now, Weston Okafor, the big bodies down low. Then it's Chris Paul. Then it's James Posey and Stiakovic. Gomes with it. Pocket four. Aids away. No luck. And New Orleans will take it the other way. Here's Stiakovic. Hits the big shot. Right now, he's just too good, Kevin. Way too good. They need to bring a second defender to try to make him give up the ball. 
screen by Jefferson. Over West. Jefferson's shot is off. Not always consistent from mid-range. He just didn't have the right touch there. To take the lead. Through contact and a whistle and a go to the one. It's on Al Jefferson. That's it. Next one could give them the lead. Kevin Barnes checked in for Al Jefferson. Oh, and it's also changing it up. Arch has checked in. And he gives them the lead. Here's Sessions. Three quarter Ellington. The Timberwolves again can hit. On offense, here are the Hornets. Here in the fourth quarter, the defense has been very strong, allowing no baskets. Jones with it. Here's Sessions. Love against West. West against Love. On the line. Shot is off. The Hornets go the other way with the ball. down low. Knocks it loose. It stays here. Here is Gomes. Over to Yakovic. Sticks it from 17 feet. And the Timberwolves lead by one. And here we go with Chris Paul. He dishes it. And here is Posey. Tipped. I think the story here is that they've stopped giving the ball away so often. Cut those turnovers down. And here are the Hornets. It's a one-point game. Paul kicks it over to Marcus. No good. Now the Timberwolves will take it the other way. 13 points was their biggest lead in the game. Here's Posey. And the Hornets miss again. And here are the Timberwolves. They lead by one. Gomes, defended by West. Here's Sessions. Posey covering from the strike. Sessions, no good. That shot didn't have a chance. He doesn't have the softest touch, and the defense was in his jersey. Got to look for a better shot. Marks backs him down. Puts in the agile reverse layup. Gorgeous layup there. Graceful move to the basket. Here's Jones. Kept the line. A three, and it's James Posey with the rebound, and it's the Hornets with the ball. A great fourth quarter, just giving up two points. Here's Paul. No good. Now the Timberwolves will take it the other way. About eight and a half minutes left to the fourth. Now Sessions. Passes it up. Paul with the defensive effort. Oh, man. Shots like that will make a coach lose his head. Leads him with the pass. Siakovic. Good, and Paul gets the assist. And the Hornets lead by three. And Minnesota has possession. They trail by three. Milicic with the screen. Down low. Goes up. And foul called as he misses. He'll go to the line and shoot two. Looks like a good call from here where I sit. Definitely some contact on that shot. Military. Two shots. First free throw is good. And some changes here for the Timberwolves. Corey Brewer's checked in for Love. And Johnny Flynn is subbed in for Wayne Ellington. Some changes for New Orleans. That one falls, so he hits both of them. Here is Callison. Under eight minutes left in the game. 
Al Thornton. Okafer in the post. And he chains it in beautifully. That's right, fellas. Don't be afraid to power it down. Yeah, Clark, a good camper at the end of that play. Flynn against Collison. Brewer with the ball. To the middle. Here's Milicic. Excellent D there from Okafer. The break is on. Thornton. Baseline jumper. Puts too much on. Well, he gives up some height, but he didn't give up the run. Nice pull. Here's Sessions. And two free throws coming up as he misses that one. Drawing the whistle and a lot of contact there. Julian White picks one up. First one falls for and good on the second, so he makes it up. Here is Collison. Right around, seven minutes left in the fourth. Here's Thornton. Deflected. They certainly haven't been very good here in the fourth in regards to protecting the ball. Cover. Here's Sessions. Gets the bucket and the foul. It's on down Collison. And he makes the free throw. Here is Collison. He dumps it off. Pass to Okafor. Oh, might have had a three-point play. But he couldn't power it down. Good foul. You can't let him get that easy dunk, especially since he struggles at the line. And three throw is it. And this rips the Hornets. Paul's jumped in. And he sinks the second. Here's Flynn. About six and a half minutes left in the game. It's tipped. And it'll go the other way. The Timberwolves turn it over. That was an ugly possession. They were out of sync completely, and the ball just sailed out of bounds. Marcus Thornton is checked in for New Orleans. Here's Collison. Ball outside. Now uh, Okafor inside. And a great assist by Paul as that one goes in. 19 points for Emeka Okafor. Collison against Flynn. And here's Brewer. Draws the foul. He'll get a trip to the line. Well, that's a bailout with the hat. You have to be careful when you close out on shooting. And he hits the first of three. Julian Wright, he's checked in for Marcus Horton. And he can't hit the second. And he nails the third. Well, he certainly can't be happy leaving points at the line, but at least he got them to the leave. Collison the pass to Paul. Back to Collison. Pass to Paul. Picked by Okafor. The shot by Paul. No good. He's usually automatic from that close. The defense must have affected. Excellent defense, and the steal earns him a quick bucket in transition. Flynn against Collison. Here is Brewer. Off the screen. Paul grabs the board. The defense read the scouting report, and they're going to sag off of him. He's just not a threat from out there. Shoots it. And it's Collison that time on the assist by Overbull. And the Hornets lead by three. He's had an off game thus far, but his team has been able to pick up the slack and find a way to get it done here. Collison against Flynn. Here's Milicic. Kept alive. Here's Gomes. 
tries to drop it in, but it won't go. Kevin, he's been ice cold here in the second half. He can't make his shot. He needs to drive or pass off the teammate. Oh, his shot is off. Decent look there, but not for him. He's been struggling all game long. Here's Brewer. Scooped up. Here's Sessions. Excellent D there from Okafer. He just hasn't been able to get on track in this game. Not like he would like to. He's a much better shooter than he's shown. Can't hit. Now the Timberwolves will take it the other way. Just hope. Four minutes left to the fourth. Now Flynn. Gets down. Another miss by Minnesota. That's really not the kind of performance that his team needs from him here in this quarter. Ball outside. The dump off. From 11 feet away. Scooped up. Right. And the layup is good. They have now scored six on answer. He doesn't have a lot of game with his back to the basket, but that time he found a way to get it done in there. That's a pretty good move for a guy you don't expect to score in the paint. Tipped away. It's taken away by Collison. He just lost another one, Kevin. I mean, he's really having a difficult time seeing the defense here. Here's Flynn. He's covered by Collison. Flynn against Collison. Flynn gets the boot to stop the drought. Gets the bucket. Here's Collison. And here is Paul. Pass to open. The ball. And almost gets it to go, so he'll shoot to the Jefferson's checked in for Minnesota. Morrow comes in for our session. Tim West is checked in for New Orleans. And so Paul nails both of them. Here's Flynn. They've still got time to turn this one around. That's right. They've got to keep their composure. Got to play their court. Stay cool and keep drifting away at them. And the Timberwolves call time. They're losing by six. 2.46 left in the game. Let's find out what Doris Burke has for us. Kevin, I was able to listen in on what Kurt Rambis had to say to the team. He told them, tone it down from three-point range. They haven't shot a high percentage from out there, and he said, hey, we've got to focus on stepping in and taking the easier shot. Let's get that going, and we'll come back to the distance shot later. Guys? It's taken away by Collison. Well, left side. Covered by Flynn. Pass to Collison. Fires the three. Shot's good. Collison's got his third basket of the night. He's really flipped the script with this performance here in the second half. Collison against Flynn. He's covered by Collison. Marks it high. Flynn misses. His defense hasn't let him get too many clean looks in this game. He's having trouble getting it done at the offensive end here, and I think you've got to credit the defense. Collison against Flynn. Collison, no good. Tough D forces him to miss it at the rim. You won't see that very often. Gomes with it. Right side Flynn, here is Gomes, behind the arc, kept alive, second shot opportunity, and fouled hard that time, he'll get to the line and shoot two. It's been a nice game for Jefferson, he has 18 points and a steal, boy he's been outstanding on both ends of the court. Al Jefferson, taking two shots. Does make the second, and then brings them with an eight. They can't afford too many missed free throws, Kev. They need every point they can get. Collison dishes to Paul. Picked by West. Kicks it to West. Jefferson picks him up. Okafor with the screen on Flynn. Scoop 
picked up. A second left. Okafor gets the bucket. Okafor's got 23. He's done a really nice job of maintaining focus, staying sharp, and providing his team with offense. And the Timberwolves call timing. They're behind by 10. 103 left to the fourth. Dives for it. It stays here. Here is Flynn. Here's Jefferson. It's blocked. This is one of the key reasons why they're losing. You have to get more production out of your core star player. Good defensive footwork shut down this path to the basket. Here is Love. Now Flynn. Got a piece of it. Backing down is Jefferson. Go. Nails it from close range. Anticipation there, Kev. He placed that pass perfect. And here comes Clark. Nice passes to Paul. Just five to shoot. Left side, Callison. Shot clock at two. That doesn't go either for Collison. He really needs to hit that consistently, but they'll just keep letting him shoot it. Back to Flynn. He dishes it. Backing down is Jefferson. Collects loose for three. It's up. So we see the Hornets get the win here. They came, they saw, they cost it. Hey, Kevin, to me, any win is a good win. Now it's time to say so long. For Clark Kellogg, Doris Burke, this is Kevin Harlan, along with our 2K Sports crew, thanking you for tuning in. Now it's time to...